The wedding was yesterday. It was so much fun. It was emotional. Nothing really to say. I showed most of it, I guess. It was eventful. I loved it. And I wish I could have seen her more. But they're off to Hawaii now. And I'm going to explore Salt Lake City because I've never been here. So that's what today's going to be. Exploring Salt Lake and see what's up with this city. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the view. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> so.
back in our hotel, gonna leave early tomorrow. Didn't really do much in Salt Lake because there wasn't really much to do. We toured the Capitol Building, Salt Lake Temple, and uh, I think Crest Creek Plaza or like an outside mall shopping center type of deal. When we were there, good thing we went to the temple first because when we came back, like when we were inside of the like visitor center of the temple and it was fine. It was nice sunny blue sky. Then we came out and it was, it was like kind of raining, but it wasn't that hard. Just hard sprinkle, I guess you can explain it. Then we went to the, it was like that till we were walking to the plaza um, mall, Crest Creek, I think it's called. And um, it was fine, blue sky, kind of warm. It ends up like down pouring and even thunder. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, what are we gonna do? <laughs> And then we saw like the uh, ceiling close up because it was raining. Everyone was running. Everyone was running and saw the ceiling close up because like when we shopped around like it ended up getting the blue sky came back and the rain stopped and so we shopped only got things at H&M. Then we went to Chinatown, like not an actual Chinatown, but it was like a, just a market. And I bought some food there and went to El Poco Loco for dinner and went to the, got the South Shore, like mall in South, like near South Jordan, not in, but the city next to. And the Forever 21 in there is <laughs> pretty sad. Like, even the automatic doors sounded sad. There was even a escalator that wasn't even moving. Half the stuff was on sale, so we were kind of confused what was going on, but went to H&M again and bought another item and drove back. Pretty much it. Gonna wake up early and drive back. The GPS says it's gonna take about 14 hours, but might take us 16 hours because like stops, rest stops, food and all that, so. And yeah. The next day. Made it home about 2.17 and so tired. Nothing really left to say because i too tired to like think about it. So I'm gonna close this video here. I'm about to go to bed. So thank you everyone for watching. Hope you continue. Bye.